And I, I feel like probably we haven't even really talked about Field of Glory Empires enough yet because we, we've only talked really about the military, <laughs> how it shares. With, yeah, true. But there's we haven't really talked about the mechanics in Field of Glory Empires, which I think deserve a moment of our attention because we've alluded to it before this balance between complexity simplicity mm. you know realism and you know abstract i feel like you guys have reached a new balance here which i'm kind of curious first of all is this the direction you think that ajod is going in the future more towards accessible game mechanics versus more complicated ones yeah yeah definitely we we need to it's difficult because you need to somehow streamline your game mechanism, but uh, we de- don't want definitively to to dump down uh, the gameplay. So, yeah, it's a uh, it's difficult balance. The, the game was much simpler three years ago in uh, in, in in its intent, and uh, then uh, after playing and seeing how beta tester react and uh, what we felt we we wanted, uh, it it went a bit more grog now uh, while still being uh, quite uh, accessible. We we believe. Uh, but hmm. yeah, we we don't plan to return to some of the I would say needless complexities of some of the game <laughs> mechanism of Fagiot games, uh, the, the previous era. <laughs> hmm. Oh well, there's there's two in particular mechanics I think I'd like to ask about mm. that may reveal a little bit of what's under the hood. Yeah. Feel free to talk about as much or as little as you want. But first of all, the most obvious one is this CDR, the the mm-hmm. yeah. know, the decadence and the culture and empires rising empires falling so i don't know how to really relate this i don't really know how to even talk about it other than to say that it seems to be somehow i don't even understand how it does it but it seems to really capture history well <laughs> so this it's it's basically just ranking everyone based on a ratio of whether yeah. they're generating culture or you know they have decadence which I'm, I'm actually frankly i've put in a lot of hours in the game i've really studied it but i still don't fully understand how decadence is generated <laughs> okay um, there's something called size you know it's a little nebulous kind of reminds me of playing previous age odd games yeah, so yeah, yeah, <laughs> i don't yeah, yeah. know what's going on uh, you you know uh, i will uh, just make a small aparte uh, on that it's a uh, uh, user interface and you um, it's never done and we did put a significant uh, higher number of hours working on the UI uh, in uh, Empire compared to the previous Agile game and still it's never done and uh, clearly we, we we should have done more on uh, explaining the CDR uh, with uh, panels and windows and uh, and this kind of uh, stuff yeah but uh, it's a uh, when you develop a game, probably a uh, user interface is one third, almost 50% of your time. It's, uh, mm, yeah. it's crazy. And, uh, and you see from players' reactions that you are not done and uh, they still find, uh, what, 50, 100 uh, remarks and uh, improvements to, to do because it's never clear to, to everybody what you do. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. It's impressive, almost. I mean, it has to be said, though, that this interface is like it's like a gift from God compared to your previous titles. <laughs> I don't want to say that because it's a no, little bit you can. <laughs> negative towards your previous no, no, ones, no, but, but this one is, it's it's like really almost, it's like almost or maybe it is mainstream interface, which is very impressive. Yeah, because um, uh, the previous Agiot game were all made by me uh, for the programmation including the interface and so I, every day i had to to struggle deciding do i spend my day uh, adding this cool me- game mechanism or do i spend my day doing some uh, user interface and uh, <laughs> guess what <laughs> user interface uh, developers, uh, they really dislike that most of the time and so for uh, for this project it, uh, the split was different with another person and it was much easier to I, I was foc- I, I am focusing on uh, game design and gameplay uh, coding and uh, that's it. So it's uh, yeah, and that's the, one of the main reason. It's not that perhaps I am not the perfect guy on a user interface, but it was mostly lack of time in Agio that made the interface not that good. Let's say yeah, I see. So yeah, and the other mechanic that I. I, I mean, we didn't really even talk about that culture decadence one, but I just, if you want to talk about it all, I don't know how you guys came up with this magic formula 
that it seems to work. I mean, you actually see empires rise and fall. You see the civil wars. It's it's kind of it, to me. It's genius. I don't understand how it works, but it's genius. It's like like when you you do some cooking 